Welcome to our lesson on intersections of circles. So in this lesson, we're going to find the coordinates where a straight line intersects with a circle. And in this question, we have the equation of a circle and the equation of a straight line. And you can see at point Q, the X and the Y values are the same for both equations. So this means I can make Y the subject of this equation and substitute that into the y in the equation of a circle. So y is equal to 11 minus x. And now I'll substitute this expression for y into the circle. So we have x plus 2 squared plus y, which is 11 minus x minus the 5 squared. It's 32. We can tidy up this bracket here. So that becomes 6 minus x, and this is equal to 32. We can extend out both brackets. And now we can collect the like terms. To solve this equation, we're going to make it equal 0. So we'll take away 32 from both sides. And we can divide both sides by 2. We'll carry it on over here so we have more room. And now we can factorise. So we have x minus 2 all squared is 0. So we found out that x is equal to 2. And that is this coordinate here. So if x is equal to 2, we can work out y. Because y is 11 minus the 2, so y will be 9. So the coordinates of q are 2 and 9. So now we have the straight line intersecting the circle at two points, N and M. So again, we're going to substitute either the X of Y from a linear into our equation of a circle. So we'll say that X is equal to 4 plus Y. So now we can substitute this expression for x into here. So we have x squared, which is 4 plus y squared, plus 4y squared is equal to 10. We'll expand out this bracket. So 16 plus 8y plus y squared plus the second y squared is 10. We'll collect the like terms. So 2y squared plus 8y. We'll move this 10 to the other side. So this becomes plus 6. We can divide out the 2. So 2 lots of y squared plus 4y plus 3. And the 2 will cancel. So now we have y plus 3 multiplied by y plus 1. So our y values are when y is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 1. So when y is negative 3, x is equal to 1. And when y is negative 1, x is equal to 3. OK, let's try one final question. So in this question, we've been given the straight line, which is y equals kx. And the equation of a circle is now in this form. And we've been asked to show that k squared minus 8k plus 7 is 0. So because we've been told that the equation touches the circle at one point, we can use the discriminator. And the discriminator takes the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c is 0. And because it touches at one point, the discriminator is b squared is equal to 4ac. So we'll come back to this bit later. So now, I'm going to substitute this expression for y into our equation of a circle. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 16y plus the 72 is 0. We'll expand out the brackets and now we'll write this equation 
in the general form. So k squared plus 1 lots of x squared plus x lots of negative 8 minus 16k plus the 72 is equal to 0. So we can see that b squared is this squared and this is equal to 4ac. 4 times 72 is 288. And a is k squared plus 1. So again, we'll expand that with brackets. And we'll make the equation equal 0. We can divide each term by 32. So now we can see we have the equation we were asked to show. And now we can solve this equation by factorising. So we have k plus 7, lots of k plus 1 is 0. So k is equal to negative 7 and k is equal to negative 1. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.